Welcome back to Stu Structures. We're here for the third video of the series of building the fire tower, so stay tuned. Okay, so we are here with the third video of building the fire tower. Uh, we have a lot of backtracking with angle braces still to put on the structure, handrails to put on stairs. You know, I touch up a lot of silver paint areas where I've glued and you know, some of those ends of the stairs I didn't put paint on so I could get gl good glue adhesion. Uh, say that three times fast. <laughs> but anyway, uh, then we have the whole top for this thing to build yet. And I'm not sure what the interiors were in these. I've seen a couple of pictures that, you know, show long sights to figure out distances. And I'm not sure what all, you know, we've got that opening in the floor. We need to build a handrail so people can't actually fall down the stairs. And, you know, I don't know. We'll just jump into this and see how much we can get done in this video. Let's go with it. Now this is kind of the state that we left the main structure in last week and you know we still have a lot of angles to replace the handrails are going to kind of be a pain getting in here to do this but you know it's something that has to be done and the floor for the upper story of this this is how we left it at you know last week and we need to do a lot of work on this before we can ever get to the point of mounting it on that once we get everything else done we had these silver strips cut for bracing underneath the flooring so i think what i'm going to do to begin with is just come back and start putting that floor together so i go ahead and mount all those strips across all the floor and now we have our support bracing underneath the floor and the opening around you know that i cut to go down in there the steel or the plastic angle that i put supposed to represent steel needed to be painted silver so I come back and paint that silver and also the one edge angle on the outside of the deck. Now I'm going to go ahead and start prepping the handrails for all this. And you know, I don't want to have to build all these. I was going to, but I decided I've got all this plastic and uh, you know, from other parts that I've built. So I'm going to come through and just start cleaning all this up and getting all this ready for, you know, handrails. And I wasn't sure of the length. I cut these all to four sections, and later on you're going to see them when I come back and cut them to three sections. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and, and get some silver paint on these and get these ready to mount into the structure. And then I do come back and cut them down to three lengths because this is about the right size that I need for each of those sections of stairs going up through. And once I have all those prepped, then I'm just going to come back and start working from, you know, here on down and, and get the rest of these handrails mounted. <clears throat> now the upper section up here only needed two sets of stanchions, so I cut that one down even further. And so the top two sections there are done, and I just come right on down through the rest of the building and get all these stanchions in place. Here's the next one down. And you know, this is really a pain getting in here and holding these with tweezers and getting the glue in place and, and getting them to set up because there's so much angle in the way. I probably should have left more of this bracing off before I got started. But you know, this is all except for the very bottom section of stairs at this point. Now the main structure on top, that floor on top, I decided, you know, about three foot up, they look, the pictures looked like it was an enclosed area and in glass from there up. So I went through and found this, you know, clapboard siding and I decided, well, you know, I'm just going to make three foot walls out of that. So I cut the four sides and got them, you know, to the right lengths of what I needed them. And I came back and just cut all the corners down to 45 degrees where I'm going to meet and glue these into the corners so there's not much of a, a joint showing in the corners. And then I come back and just start gluing some of that together. There's prep I have to do on one side, so for right now I'm just going to put three sides of these together. And the other side that I still have to do some prep on is because there's a doorway that goes from the inside out to that platform. So I'm just going to put this right in the middle of one of the walls. So I went through my teachy parts and I, you know, I found this door and said, okay, that'll work. Now the other thing on those outside walls is, you know, 
where the corners meet, I don't, yeah, you know, there is a little bit of a seam that shows, and I want this to look better. And on anything that has siding, there were normally corner boards. So I took this one before and cut these to lengths. And then I'm going to come back and I'm just going to glue those onto the corners, of, you know, for where I glued these together to give me a nice corner seam on these. Once you put paint on this, this is going to look really, really good. You know, and then after digging more into my uh, teach each stuff, you know, I had ordered these for another project coming up, but I have one extra door and I just decided, okay, this is the door that I'm going to use. And the sidewall, I had cut the center section out of it and put angles, you know, braces up from there. And then I just mounted the door in the middle of that. And I'm coming back here and just putting some silver paint on the silver areas. And then I come back and put black paint on the black areas. I still need to do another coat on this, but this is that center wall, at least to the point that I could glue it into the main structure. And once that, you know, outside edge, I had those corners on there, I went ahead and put black paint on both sides of this and the top of it as well and got it ready to mount this other wall into the center of it. And then I just come back and glue that into place. Now we still have corner boards and, you know, a few things to add to this, but that's the basic bottom part of the wall for the upper structure at this point. Now what I'm going to do is on the top of that wall where the windows meet it, I'm going to put type of a window sill. So I went through and I had all this strip styrene and I painted it silver. And I'm just going to come back and start adding that to the top of all those walls. So now I have a window sill to wrap clear around this building. You can see here I also had that uh, the corner one by fours on the building at this point in time. Now that we got the door in, we have paint on it, we can also add the glass to the back side of the door. And Chi doors come with pre-cut glass. Sometimes it's a little fogged by the laser or whatever they use to cut it with. But I decided to go ahead and use that. So I just used some clear uh, glue and glued that into place. <clears throat> now there's uh, a lot of other, you know, various types of... of uh, angle iron and stuff that I need to finish that whole bottom assembly and I just took a few pieces outside and painted those silver and I came back and laid my <clears throat> my structure on the paper again to get the plates that go on that side where all those angles come and meet those center walls and I go through and make uh, marks on all those and you know in doing so here you can see uh, you know I broke the, the bottom set of stairs out of this and you know, I need to add handrails to them anyway, so that's okay. So anyway, I come back and you know I start adding angles in. And once I get all the rest of those long angles in on either, you know, I had one side still open so I could work on the stairs, then I come back and start marking the center of all those where the plates are added to those for those other angles that come in and meet this center piece. And I go through and mark every one of those and just scratch a little bit of paint off of it. I had a lot of these uh, plates pre-cut, but I cut the angle corners off of them. And, uh, you know, just finished prepping them and getting them ready. Then I come back and start gluing those onto the centers of all those angles. And that gives me something on both sides that need the rest of these angles put on something to glue to. And I just go ahead and do both sides of these so that part of it's ready to rock and roll. And just come back and glue it a couple times so they're on there really good and solid. Then I come through and just start adding the secondary angles to each of those. And I do the bottoms which are easier to get to to begin with and I'll just work my way on up the sides. And each side then we come back and in that second parallel to the ground angle that goes below that last one we put on, I start coming back and putting all those in place as well. And then once we have all that in place, you know, we've got to come back and do some paint, but basically that's all the angle work done at this point in time. Now the stairs that had fallen off that very bottom section, I just decided rather than just to glue them back into place, I was going to go ahead and work on the handrails on these before I glue them back in just to make it easier. So I come through and I cut all my stanchions and I get, just going to put three on either side of the stairs and I'm going to work start working on those. So I just have these in uh, some 
tweezers here and just do the stanchions on one side, flip it over and do the others. And I, you know, this is all just some of that smallest round uh, uh, styrene that I have. And I just add the handrails to both sides of those and come through and put some silver paint on it. Now, I, you know, I, I should have cut these off. They were kind of running a little rampant, but I come back and cut those off and just touch up the paint on the ends of the rails. And then the stairs all ready to mount back into the structure. So I just come back and glue that into the place. And that's the whole bottom part of this structure all together now. You know, and I come back and I just touch up some silver paint here and there where I've glued all the new parts on to. But basically, here's one shot, and I'm going to follow this up with another shot here of the other corner of this, the opposite corner. And you can see all the angles are in place. Some of them aren't, you know, perfectly placed, but, you know, they're close enough that I'm okay with this. Now the top half of that building that goes on top, there's a, a window section that goes above those walls we previously built. So I cut some angles. I'm cutting four angles for the corner posts of those four wall, or four corners. And I found some sheet styrene I had, and you know this is a this is old, so it's got a few mars and stuff on it, but it's okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut four sides for that. Now one of these will have to cut where the door side of this is, but basically it's glass all the way around all four sides. So I took those angles out with some, you know, silver pieces that I had painted silver earlier that you did see. And I'm just painting those angles and some square six by six posts that I'm going to use for this second half of the wall. And the angles just glue to either end of these uh, clear styrene for the windows. And they form the corner posts. So I'm going to do two of those and build the insides of those from there like I did the, you know, the bottom part of the structure. So I just got these all ready to go and you know now I'm ready to start building from there. So I just put a weight on one and put some angles up next to it and I'm going to glue uh, you know, one of the pieces that goes in between those two pieces of clear. And once I've got the three of them together, then I've got the three sides of that square together. And the last one, I think I'm just going to build in place so I can cut the, the glass exactly to the right size. Now let's get some trim on the top and bottom of it. And if you remember from my last build, I had bought this styrene and, you know, one end of this was just small smaller than it should have been so I couldn't use that on my previous project but now I can just take that styrene paint it silver and I'm just going to come back and put a piece at the top and the bottom of all of these windows that I have glued together at this point so this is just the first piece being glued on at this point in time and we're just going to continue down with that I do the three on this one side of this and I'm going to come back and you know, do the three on the other side of this. You know, basically, I'm going to break these also down into sections because the window panes were not this long in any of the pictures that I've seen of these towers. And one of these is a little crooked, but I think I can fix it later. Now I'm going to come back and glue the top, you know, the whole floor section onto the tower while I was working on this other window section. You know, and I had one corner of an I-beam snap on me. The glue made it really soft and I had to twist this a little bit to get everything to seat really good and, and get it to align. But basically once I glued it on, I came back and touched up the paint on that. And then I touched up the silver and black paint on this wall section for the bottom half of the building as well. And you know, it's ready to mount onto the floor at that period of time then. So I just come back and line it up with the stairs and make sure I have even walkways around the outside of the platform. And I go ahead and mount the first section of this building onto the top of the platform. Now where the stairs come up, I had these two handrails. So I'm gonna come back and go ahead and mount those cause it wouldn't have been open all the way around and people could have fallen down in the opening. So I put this section on here first and glue it into place and let it set up for a little while. And then I'm going to come back and put the other section on. 
And once I have that on, you know, this would have also had a trap door to enclose the opening. Uh, I, I, maybe I'm going to play with that. I'm kind of debating that right at this moment to see where we go from here with that. But basically, that's where I'm going to leave it in this video. There's still a good bit to do with the interior and the roof and the windows and everything in the next video. So it's another video all unto itself. But this is how it stands at this point in time. You know, and it's, it's really getting there. I mean, it's starting to look like a fire tower at this point in time. So I'm very pleased with this structure right now. So there you have the third segment of building the fire tower. You know, we've still got, you know, it doesn't look like, it looks like most of it's done, but, you know, we still have the top of that building to finish, and building the roof of it's going to be one thing, but I also want to put some scenery details on the inside. I mounted go and I, I debated mounting it on a small piece of board and just doing some scenery around it, but I think I'm going to wait because I'm not sure how it will fit into the model railroad later, and I don't want to build something under it that I've got to undo or redo, and, you know, I'll, I'll don't have a whole lot of time for the hobby so I like to use my time wisely so I'm just going to leave this without the concrete foundation and anchoring it to the ground but in any case next video we'll get into some more of this and see where we go from there happy model railroading